assembled together. See it again. Assembled together. We saw it the other time. They were assembled together and they prayed. This time, they assembled together. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait. Somebody say wait. The other time they were assembled, they prayed. This other time they were assembled fasting and praying. But wait for the promise of the Father, which is said, and ye shall, and ye have heard of me. Jump to eight very quickly. It started from assembling. In eight, now said, But you shall receive what? Power. After what? I pray we can teach well. It is the coming of the Holy Ghost that introduced the power of God through Christ. Is somebody heard what I'm saying now? Eh? Then jump to verse 14 quickly. You know, 4 8 14. Are you there? This all continued with what? One accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his what? Hold the hand of your neighbor, say, Receive power. Come to somebody, say, Receive grace for prayer and power. It is better to marry an ugly, prayerful man than to marry a beautiful, prayerless. But I don't know whether men are beautiful. Prayerless brother. Listen to me. If you want to ever sustain your destiny, look for a prayerful person. And you, we, when we come to word, you will understand better. This morning, if perhaps you used to be very prayerful and something has gone down, you are, your prayer life has been deflated. One of the essence of this teaching this morning is that there will be a revival. Number one, some of us, our prayer life has been deflated by virtue of what we have heard, what we have seen. We have heard. He said, he, he carried three people to accompany him as a backup to get some money to pray. He came back and made them sleeping. They were weak. There are people in church who are weak. He said, pray that ye fall not into temptation. The body, the spirit is willing, but the word, flesh is weak. What they have heard, he has finished telling them about what is ahead. So they got there, became tired. He said, can't you even pray with me for one hour? Some of you have been in church for long. The things you have heard and seen has deflated your faith in Christ. I want, to, I want you to look straight to people like us. Look straight to people like us. Some of the things you have heard, we cost it. Some of the things you have, you have prayed, when you came into Christ, you were so much on fire. You have waited and hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. Go back and ask Anna. Go again and read about Sarah. It is not just about, and Sarah, blah, 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 and Sarah wait on the Lord. Listen to me, it was 25 years. Anna, you read in the Bible, was 15 years. 15 years. 15, how many years have you been praying? The man you are seeing here. There are things I've asked God for 15 years I've not seen. I'm still talking about it. There are things I've asked God for 12 years I've not seen it. I am still praying about it. There are things I asked God for 7 years I have not prayed about it. We were in a prayer meeting of pastors and when we finished, a pastor walked to me and said, Kai, Bishop, wuta, 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 kulunku, baku, gejine. I said, gejine me. The fact that you have not seen it is the reason why you pray more. You don't get discouraged. We prayed yesterday, nothing happened. We prayed the other day, you are a baby Christian. When you want to know mature Christian, they don't count the answers, they count the possibilities. You are a baby. Every little thing push you down. Every little thing push you down. The slightest wind, you are down. Hey, listen to me. Stand, haven't done all. Stand. And you have not even done half. You are going down. May the Lord restore your prayer life. And may the spirit of grace for supplication come upon you. Can I leave you with a question here today? How was your prayer life last year? How was it in January? Some of you, the only time you have fasted was January. Since then, nothing again. Pastor declare fasting, you begin to complain. Lukewarmness. There is one thing I've known about scripture. He said, if you are not cold, you are not, it's an offense. If you are not cold, 
you are not you are neither cold nor hot are we what so you better be cold or you are hot be one if you are in between i love this scripture we close here prayer somebody say prayer how can a young man be sleeping on sunday morning we all gave our life to God. Wear it like that. Why should you allow it? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 28. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Drop your Bible. Something is going to be transferred this morning. You cannot be here and be chewing chingum. Come be here and be prayerless. Come be. You can be. There is something common with everybody who grew under my roof. Except for some who have already lost their, their stand. It's prayer. You know me? Prayer. If I come to the office in the morning, protocols, I can get out. She tries to calm me down sometimes. No. There is fire burning that has, nobody has been able to interpret it. Look at, I went, I went to the children's church this morning. I saw... One of our one family here, their son, leading prayer. I used to see that boy. Anytime we are here, as children, your children will be jumping and scattering chair. You will see the small boy. I called the mother one day. I said, Chin, this thing is it the Geskene? The boy have only ghost. Cha 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 cha. The boy will pray. Cha cha cha. Small boy behaving like an adult. Never distracted. Your own children, church clothes, is to kick chair. Hey, hey. And then you say, my children are active. You are losing them. You are losing them. They are not active. You are losing them. Call them and lock them. It is what you are doing at home. They are manifesting outside. When, you're, when you are praying, your children are sleeping. When was the last time as a father, you walk to your child room and lay hands on them? Let it not be an error that you are born again. Your, your children should not. There are certain things money can buy. If put it in their life through prayer. You are Papa is sleeping, Mama is sleeping. Children are snoring. Ask me, is cleaning the ground. The lady, the small, the girl in her house, peace. When she came, she didn't. She didn't know how to speak English. Sometimes when we round up money prayer, I will tell her to pray. But here to she says, say, say it in your language. You hear your Oh yeah. And we all of us say amen. Gradually, she started praying in English. I went to their church, this their class this morning. She's the one leading worship. The stone that the builder rejected. They're not up to one year. People are under your roof. You're under your roof. Under your roof, smoking cigarette. You will give account to God. You miss it as a parent. You should have been laying hand on them. When they are sleeping, wake up 3 a.m. Put your hand on them. Your destiny shall not be lost. And go back to sleep. Go back again by 5 a.m. Put your hand on them. Your husband that is not hearing word, as you are lying on the bed, put hand there. Anoint the hand, put on the chest. Father, this one shall not be lost. We are too relaxed. You are too relaxed. You are too relaxed. The devil goes around like a roaring lion seeking for who to devour. Pastors are in a hurry to collect offering and tithe, not to lead people to pray. You, you forget prayer, but you remember tithe. That's the kind of pastors we have now. Where is it? Hold the hand of your neighbor. Isaiah 40. Am I too harsh this morning? I just remember now. Am I very harsh? If you like this. Has that not known? Has that not heard? That the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the head. Faint not. Neither is weary. There is no searching. Of his understanding. He giveth what? Hey, brother, read it where he giveth word, and to them that have no might, increased word. What is the secret? Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Your mate, they will faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. 
But what happened to these people? But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk. Ah, ah. Rise up on your feet. Keep holding that neighbor. Just face the neighbor and pray. Hold the hand of your neighbor and pray. When you are done with that person, move to the second person and pray. When you are done with that person, move to the third person and prophesy. Go now, let's do it. A prayerful Christian is a powerful Christian. Hold the hand of that your neighbor and pray.
name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands after me. Say, Father, renew my prayer life. Say, Father, rekindle your power in my life through prayer. Open your mouth and pray for yourself. genuineness of our spirit we ask the Lord breathe upon us afresh we repent for our lukewarmness from today let nobody ex escape your fire as we enter a new week everyone in this house set us on fire let the hunger for prayer be restored in the name of Jesus Come against the spirit of compromise, lukewarmness, discouragement in the place of prayer. I arrest it in the name of Jesus. As we pray, let power and praise be exhibited in Jesus' two minutes. All the married men, you pray for your wife in two minutes. And then all the young people, you pray for your parents. So after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Send my wife help. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Enjoy divine help in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Enjoy divine help in the name of Jesus. This week, this week, this week, the angel of his presence, we attend to you in the name of Jesus. Hold the hand of your neighbor, say, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatever the two of you shall agree upon as touching on earth, it shall be done by your Father in heaven. Hold the hand of one person, let's agree together. Say, brother, I agree with you. Anyone in this church and around your life and my life that have signed a contract with premature death, in this service today, we erase the death with the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like a wounded lion. Somebody's husband is about to be delivered. Somebody's husband, your husband, your husband, a church worker is about to be delivered. God, be you, you. you are the Lord. Can be you, 
I'll see you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hand. No one will be trapped in any hole. No one around us. Anyone trapped in a pit will bring them out. Every destiny trapped in a pit, I bring it out. Everybody whose finances is trapped in a pit, I command it to come out. Everyone that your health is trapped in a pit, I command it come out. Your marriage trapped in a pit, I command it come out. In the name of Jesus. Number two, anyone traveling this week, we declare safety. We refuse to accommodate and welcome any coffin into this house. Can I hear louder? Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Everyone that has signed a contract of premature death by the blood, it is hereby erased now. If you are here since morning, you know that we have been doing something. If you are traveling within the week, can you come touch this altar, please? Touch this altar. If you are traveling, whether far or near, touch the altar. Go back. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Can I hear louder? Amen. Okay. I believe El Elvin forgot to put this announcement across. We are going to be doing um, a lot of classes for uh, some of our young people that want to learn how to play drums and keyboard. It's going to last for like three weeks. I think we should